knowing that you play a top 10 player right away from the start where you have to bring in your A game. You want to be at your best for the first match and go even better with every match uh, that's coming. Always enjoy the energetic crowd that Italy brings. We'll see how it goes. And just the clap as well, please. Of course, you set yourself high goals, but this is already a good goal to have every season, just to be in Turin. Boo! It's a great achievement, I think, for any player, but the fact that he's here in Turin, in Italy, it's, uh, it's really special. So, yeah, I'm nervous, but uh, I'll try to use that energy to, to feel even more pumped. As a kid, you watched uh, the top guys compete in the finals, and you wanted also like so bad. Best eight players in the world. You know, I won it in, in London once, so I hope uh, Turin is going to be a lucky city for me as well. I usually love playing in Italy. Oh, what a way to finish! Game set and match Alexander Zverev. Two sets to love. Six four, six three. Every single year, the goal of mine is to make it to the finals. Last year, I, I reached my first semi-final of uh, ATP 1000 in Rome. When I backed it up with another semi-final in Monte Carlo, I think I kind of broke a barrier where I felt, you know, this is something that can happen more times. You know, learning from the first one, from my first participation, and seeing what it requires and what is needed in order for me to make it every single year. I had a lot of confidence, uh, especially through the hardcore season. Oh, wow. I was able to accumulate over the years, be very consistent at the, the best events, at the, the highest priority events, and that has put me in a very good position. After Indian West and, and then came Vienna and, and Paris, the last tournament, which basically, you know, four guys were super close to qualify. I mean, if you if you want to qualify for the finals, you you have to you have to win some matches. My best ATP match this year, Rafa against Rafa in Monte Carlo. Oh, that is sensational. The final against Andre Rublev in Monte Carlo. I had a few in Rome against Tsitsipas. It was probably that, that match would stand out as, you know, playing over two days. Very challenging to, to, to play. When I uh, won the final in Kitzbühel and I could, you know, lay down and breathe out and rest and know that I've uh, done something uh, a bit special, I think. So I went for the third back to back to back. I would say that winning the Queens, I think, was the highlight for the ATP Tour. I'm uh, most proud with the Toronto tournament because it was really tough for me, Olympic Games, because I wanted to do well for the country there. The next tournament I played was Toronto and I won it. And yeah, that's, I'm, I'm pretty proud and happy about myself. Winning my first Masters 1000. And Stefano Tsitsipas can begin the celebrations. I've won pretty much on every level apart from the Grand Slam levels, so that would be definitely a goal of mine. Of course, I want to try to to be world number one and uh, try to win some Grand Slams, but this comes with, with good tennis and that's the most important for me. To improve as much as I can, to be ready and to, to play consistently in the next season. Win a Grand Slam title. I'm done? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Great. Is that good? Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>